So this is the flip book that I entered into the Andy Mation flip book contest. I entered it, I think it was last November. I didn't win, but it was awesome to be in one of his videos. So I think he received over 1600 entries and mine is number 32. So it's pretty close to the beginning of his video that he has all of the flip books in. So I would just like to show you a little bit of how it was made. So I'm just gonna hold this here a little bit because I wanna show you a little bit about how um, the movement was made on this flip book. So here's the bobber right here. And with each one, with each page, it's dropping a little bit farther to the bottom. And I have the worm wiggling in different positions. So here it is getting lower. And then it falls into the water all the way. And, and here it is in the water. So it's just like a new scene with the bobber in the water bobbing back and forth. So it's moving. So it's moving this way. And then some water splashes are coming out. And now it's gonna move and bob to the other way. There it is, it's starting to bob to the other direction. And now the bobber, it's a new scene and the fish starts coming in. And I didn't put water in it. I thought it would be too distracting to put water lines, but I don't know, now I'm maybe having second thoughts that maybe I should have. So I put bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth every so often, not every page. And he's moving slowly across. I mean, it's slowly when I'm flipping it, but it's faster in the flip book. And this is how he's turning around. This is the position of how he's turning around. And then he's going across the book. And then a little bit is drawn of the fish as he's going off of the page. And then a little bit of the fish at a time as he's coming back into the page. It's the same thing. It's coming back in and going across the water. And here he is in the other direction. And this is a little bit of um, what you do in a cartoon. It's the anticipation. Uh, it's gonna be coming up where he backs up a little. So he's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and he backs up a little and then he dives forward, which makes it, in the flip book, you can tell where exactly where this happens. So it'll give you something to watch for. So then he's going off the page again. And he's going up toward the bobber and worm. Now I show the um, fishing pole. So here it is, the bobber's on top of the water and the fish is going to come up and grabs it. And you can see that the fishing pole is pulling down because the fish is pulling on the worm and it's going up and pulling down again. And then up. And eventually, the fish starts to grab onto the worm and the worm is in his mouth. So poor fish is hooked here. And then he's pulling out of the water. And then he's wiggling back and forth like a fish does on the end of a fishing bowl. And that's the end. And as you can see, I put my name, Maryland Art Design on the back and my number was 32. So this is just a little bit of how the tracing took place in this flip book. This flip book consists of about 145 pages. I tried to keep it as simple as possible so that the main focus would be on the bobber and the fish. 
And I also used a ruler for the fishing pole. And I just used wavy lines for the water. This is a very simple idea for a flip book, especially for a school art project. It's basically just two things moving. It's the bobber dropping and going up and down and the fish swimming sideways back and forth. I would say about every 15 to 20 pages to do a quick flip through to see if you need any added pages in between. This would be considered a new scene where it's just the water and the bobber and the bobber is bobbing back and forth with the worm teasing the fish. And then another quick flip through. An almost finished flip book and this is the black and white flip through. Since I'm not very good at smoothly flipping through the book, I decided to do a stop motion. Mm -hmm. So now this is the stop motion animation and then I will do the real flip through. I am working on a few more flip books, but they do take so long to make. So hopefully I'll be finishing them up soon and I will show them in a future video. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.